I'll be reading from the New American Standard Bible, 1995 edition, Luke chapter 8. And it came about soon afterwards that he began going about from one city and village to another, proclaiming and preaching the kingdom of God, and the twelve were with him. And also some women who had been healed of evil spirits and sicknesses. Mary, who was called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, and Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod's steward, and Susanna, and many others who were contributing to their support out of their private means. And when a great multitude were coming together, and those from various cities were journeying to him, he spoke by way of a parable. The sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell beside the road and it was trampled underfoot, and the birds of the air ate it up. And other seed fell on rocky soil, and as soon as it grew up, it withered away because it had no moisture. And other seed fell among the thorns, and the thorns grew up with it and choked it out. And other seed fell into the good soil and grew up and produced a crop a hundred times as great. And he said these things, as he said them, he would call out, he who has ears to hear, let him hear. And his disciples began questioning him as to what this parable might be. And he said, To you it has been granted to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, but to the rest it is in parables, in order that seeing they may not see, and hearing they may not understand. Now the parable is this, the seed is the word of God. And those beside the road are those who have heard. Then the devil comes and takes away the word from their heart so that they may not believe and be saved. And those on the rocky soil are those who, when they hear, receive the word with joy. And these have no firm root. They believe for a while and in time of temptation fall away. And the seed which fell among the thorns, these are the ones who have heard. And as they go on their way, they are choked with worries and riches and pleasures of this life, and bring no fruit to maturity. And the seed in the good soil, these are the ones who have heard the word in an honest and good heart, and hold it fast, and bear fruit with perseverance. Now no one, after lighting a lamp, covers it with a container, or puts it under a bed, but he puts it on a lampstand in order that those who come in may see the light. For nothing is hidden that shall not become evident, nor anything secret that shall not be known and come to light. Therefore take care how you listen, for whoever has to him shall more be given, and whoever does not have even what he thinks he has shall be taken away from him. And his mother and brothers came to see him, and they were unable to get to him because of the crowd. And it was reported to him, your mother and your brothers are standing outside wishing to see you. But he answered and said to them, My mother and my brothers are these who hear the word of God and do it. Now it came about on one of those days that he and his disciples got into a boat, and he said to them, Let us go over to the other side of the lake. And they launched out. But as they were sailing along, he fell asleep, and a fierce gale of wind descended upon the lake, and they began to be swamped and to be in danger. And they came to him and woke him, saying, Master, Master, we are perishing. And being aroused, he rebuked the wind and the surging waves, and they stopped, and it became calm. And he said to them, Where is your faith? And they were fearful and amazed, saying to one another, Who then is this that he commands even the winds and the water? And they obey him. And they sailed to the country of the Gerasenes, which is opposite Galilee, and when he had come out onto the land, he was met by a certain man from the city who was possessed with demons and who had not put on any clothing for a long time, and he was not living in a house but in the tombs. And seeing Jesus, he cried out and fell before him and said in a loud voice, What do I have to do with you, Jesus, son of the Most High God? I beg you, do not torment me. For he had been commanding the unclean spirit to come out of the man, for it had seized him many times, and he was bound with chains and shackles and kept under guard, and yet he would burst his fetters and be driven by the demon into the desert. And Jesus asked him, What is your name? And he said, Legion, 
for many demons had entered him. And they were entreating him not to command them to depart into the abyss. Now there was a herd of many swine feeding there on the mountain, and the demons entreated him to permit them to enter the swine, and he gave them permission. And the demons came out from the man and entered the swine, and the herd rushed down the steep bank into the lake and were drowned. And when the herdsmen saw what had happened, they ran away and reported it to the city and out in the country. And the people went out to see what had happened. And they came to Jesus and found the man from whom the demons had gone out, sitting down at the feet of Jesus, clothed and in his right mind, and they became frightened. And those who had seen it reported to them how the man who was demon-possessed had been made well. And all of the people of the country of the Gerasenes and the surrounding district asked him to depart from them, for they were gripped with great fear. And he got into a boat and returned. But the man from whom the demons had gone out was begging him that he might accompany him. But he sent him away, saying, Return to your house and describe what great things God has done for you. And he went away proclaiming throughout the whole city what great things Jesus had done for him. And as Jesus returned, the multitude welcomed him, for they had all been waiting for him. And behold, there was a man named Jairus, and he was an official of the synagogue. And he fell at Jesus' feet and began to entreat him to come to his house. For he had an only daughter who was about 12 years old, and she was dying. But as he went, the multitudes were pressing against him. And a woman who had a hemorrhage for 12 years and could not be healed by anyone came up behind him and touched the fringe of his cloak, and immediately her hemorrhage stopped. And Jesus said, Who is the one who touched me? And while they were all denying it, Peter said, Master, the multitudes are crowding and pressing upon you. But Jesus said, Someone did touch me, for I was aware that power had gone out of me. When the woman saw that she had not escaped notice, she came trembling and fell down before him and declared in the presence of all the people the reason why she had touched him and how she had been immediately healed. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. While he was still speaking, someone came up from the house of the synagogue official saying, Your daughter has died. Do not trouble the teacher any more." But when Jesus heard this, he answered him, Do not be afraid any longer, only believe, and she will be made well. And when he had come to the house, he did not allow anyone to enter with him except Peter and John and James and the girl's father and mother. Now they were all weeping and lamenting for her, but he said, Stop weeping, for she's not dead, but is asleep. And they began laughing at him, knowing that she had died. He, however, took her by the hand and called, saying, Child, arise. And her spirit returned, and she arose immediately, and he gave orders for something to be given her to eat. And her parents were amazed, but he instructed them to tell no one what had happened. <laughs> 